All right, so I was looking on the web for some Halloween makeup ideas and stumbled across a couple of amazing looks. If you have no idea what you want to wear or be for Halloween, you can definitely make your face up real well with some of these Halloween looks. Okay, so here we have this, I want to say, chipmunk look. I wasn't really able to distinguish what kind of animal she was like playing, or not playing, but dressing up as, but I just thought it was really cute because of the colors and like she has the fur. And I feel like it's a simple look, like you can just kind of paint it out and like, it looks really cute. It's like not too much, not too little. Yeah, and I really like how she continues to look through her hair. It's not just on her face. So right. That's what I like about that one. Yeah. Okay, and next there's this like scary one. I call or not. Um, this is Lola the Rabbit. I love this just because the the makeup is like popping. It's like really big. It's really animated, and it's 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 something different for Halloween. I like how her lips, it really makes her look like a rabbit there. And especially yeah. her eyes, it really gives off that Lola the Bunny look. So right. I love that one. Okay, and then up next, I have this half pale, half makeup done look. And it has like a little crackle like um, thing going on. And it's kind of like, kind of creepy, but it's like mysterious in a way. And I just kind of like it because it's like, the makeup's really pretty, and then you have this pale side, so she's not really specific to a character or anything. It's just a very unique makeup look for Halloween. Right, just like she's breaking out of something. <laughs> right, right. And then I have this. Now, this is actually very, well, at least to me, kind of scary. So if you're going more of the scary route, I'd say, like, do something big with the eyes. I think this is interesting. This look is interesting just because it has blood coming down, and then it's, like, this sort of, like, embroidery on top of her head that's kind of like interesting I don't know I don't think she's a specific character either unless I don't know like you know where yeah. she might have been coming from but I just think this is a really interesting look and it's kind of cool yeah I completely <clears throat> agree with you that one and then this is my favorite look um, I would have to say that just because I've never seen anything like this before it's like a comic book look it's it does a lot with like illusion and just um, I don't know, it's just very pop and she looks like a cartoon character, but it's just, it's so cute. I love it. And I don't know, I just, I just wonder how the rest of her outfit probably looked like for that like makeup look, cause that's so cute to me. Yeah. Now for some costumes. I've seen some really cool ideas that you can do by yourself or with your friends. So for this first look, kind of going back to the makeup stuff that you're talking about, we have this scarecrow look here. So I really like this really just depends on your makeup for this look. So you can really do whatever you want with your costume here. So you could do like a little flannel, the tank top underneath, and some leggings, and you're good to go, basically. Yeah. I love that because it's really pretty, too. It's not like a scary caracrow. It's like, OK, I can kind of paint this on and just put a little plaid shirt on. It seems achievable for anybody yeah, to wear. It's really simple. Yeah. Next, we have this Starbucks drink look. So with this one, I think you could kind of ditch the boa <laughs> and maybe just do like a cute infinity scarf. Right and maybe just like a cute tunic, some leggings like she's wearing there. Yeah, I love that just because it's like, it's cute. It looks like it could be a cute dress, you know, maybe without the Starbucks look too, mm -hmm. or the Starbucks like logo on it. Like, it's just, it's cute. I like it. And I like the little straw on the back too. It's like, yes. it's like a little weapon or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now for this one, I saw this one circulating around Twitter. It's this gold medalist family. And I, what I loved about this one they're all basically doing their own hobbies. So mm -hmm. that's what I love about that one. I love that too, just because it's like, that's really creative. And it's like, I don't know, it's, it's different, you know, especially if they really are like sticking to their own, like, you know, sports that they do. That's really cute. Mm -hmm. They definitely put some time into that right. one. <laughs> now we have this super cute Dalmatian <laughs> and firefighter look. I think this is my favorite one. So with this, guys, you can definitely just kind of use some stuff that you have in your closet. So as you can see there, he's wearing a Nike shirt and some Nike sweats. And girls, really, you don't have to dress up like she is. You could probably just wear a shirt. Once again, leggings. Just go simple with it. Right. I love that just because it's like that's how you kind of think of, like, you know, cliche, like, firefighters with their yes. dogs. Like, that's cute. I love that. And finally, with you and your friends, you can go as your favorite candies. So this one's cute because you can just be all colorful and bright, and you guys are kind of like in the same thing, but not at the same time. So I really like that one. Right, I love that too. Like, especially if you have friends and you guys wanna go, like, go together as like something, that's cute. Especially like trick-or-treating, getting candy, kind of dress up as candy, that's kind of adorable. <laughs> all right, that's all for this week's episode of E23. We hope you guys liked our looks as much as we did. 
For more of our exclusive content, go to our website at www.mutv.missouri.edu. And check out our YouTube channel, MUTV E23, to watch any of the segments you saw featured in tonight's episodes. Thanks for watching.